So you want to know about mailing lists, right? Uh, I'll tell you what mailing lists are and why use them and also show you how to use them. Um, you probably know that email is the most popular communication tool on the internet and for very good reasons. Uh, mailing lists make it easy to send emails to a large number of people. Uh, we'll see how that works out uh, for free software communities uh, in this presentation. But essentially, um, when you make a list, you don't have to remember whom to include when you're sending an email, uh, which many people have has to uh, receive. There is no issue of uh, adding 100 or 200 people in a CC list. Um, and there's also this anonymity or privacy that if you are subscribed to a list and when you receive an email which is sent to that list your email address is not necessarily shown to other members of that list so that is what a mailing list uh, makes easy to do so lists also have some other abilities like you can subscribe or unsubscribe uh, online uh, so you need not be added manually by uh, an individual an administrator uh, you may be able to subscribe on your own uh, the lists and the messages sent to them can get archived online on a website where uh, search engines can index them and uh, people can also read old messages and the responses to it and things like that lists may be moderated which means uh, if you are a new member to a list uh, and you send an email to that list uh, it may not go through to all the members it may first have to be approved by a moderator and then it will go to the list um, list may also be unmoderated and uh, it's usually when there is a unmoderated list there usually is also spam so sometimes uh, spammers and vandals get on mailing lists and send uh, unwanted emails to everyone but mailing lists are the uh, favorite uh, mode of communication for many free software communities for all these reasons and uh, they are very widely used in free software communities uh, for example let me just show you um, so this is gnome ka uh, list overview page uh, you can see there are so many lists um, people communicate in these lists uh, this is kde ka list page kde develop kde core devel um, gnu org lists they have many many lists um, linux kernel development happens on a mailing list so there are so many lists like this which are very widely used in free software communities. So we will look at how to join the free software camp announcement mailing list and uh, before that let me just tell you the difference between an announce list and a discuss list. So it's, uh, it's not something technical, it's something set in process. So announce lists are used to send high priority important emails and usually uh, there are very few of these. Uh, there may be one email a week or something like that and usually these are posted by administrators only. Whereas discuss lists are where uh, people, any, any member, even non-members can post at times uh, to some lists but uh, usually members post on the topics which that email list is about and this can become very active although there are also some discuss lists where there are no posts at, at all so um, um, the FSCI uh, list platform supports two ways of uh, subscribing to a mailing list one is with an account and the other is without an account using just email so if you if you create an account on the FSCI list server, mailman server, uh, you can uh, 
you can subscribe to lists with that account and uh, you'll be able to subscribe and unsubscribe on the web and uh, create new threads on the web and things like that on the other hand if you just want to do everything over email you can sign up directly with your email and then manage the uh, subscription through email and everything through email so two options are available uh, I'll be showing how to subscribe with email today but I'll also show you how it will be when uh, someone is subscribed to an account so now uh, I'll just show the demo so let me close this list uh, so here is an email I've received from the free software camp Mm, they, they say consider subscribing to our low volume announcement mailing list so I'm just gonna open that list so this is the web interface of the list that opens up uh, camp announce list announcements about free software camp to contact owners use camp announce owner at mm.bimo.com.in to see prior postings visit the archives so here uh, I have the two options either I can login so i can sign up for an account and then login and subscribe to the list or i can directly give my email address and subscribe so i'm just going to show you the second option uh, let me enter my email and click subscribe so what this will do is uh, it will send me an email to confirm that it was indeed me who uh, subscribed to the list so I come back I can see there's an email from camp announce I confirm we have received a registration request before you can start using you must confirm that this is your email address by replying to this message keeping the subject header intact so this uh, secret code is something that makes it uh, confirm so I'll just reply and send so that must confirm my subscription so in a few seconds I'll receive another email saying I've been subscribed to the list so sometimes uh, the emails may land up in spam so you would have to check uh, your spam folder uh, in my case uh, it's not in my spam uh, and uh, so I yeah so in my case it directly came to my inbox camp announce request so this is the confirmation email it also tells me how I can unsubscribe how I can do further uh, interaction with the mailing list so the way to do that is to email camp announce request with certain keywords uh, you can explore that if you want but essentially uh, the point to note is that if you're using Gmail which I don't recommend that you do I'm showing this demo through Gmail because many people use Gmail uh, sometimes uh, there may be multiple tabs in your email inbox gmail inbox primary social promotions forums things like that so this might not come in your primary tab it might come in a different tab so you might have to check all your tabs and you might also have to check your spam so that's the uh, that's the way subscription over email works now i'm just going to show you how it would have been if i had signed up through my account so I already have an account on this website uh, so I'm just gonna sign in and I'm already subscribed to this list as well so it will show me an unsubscribe button at the moment um, let me also show you unsubscribe and then show me show you how it could be in this so here I have unsubscribed which means it's like I've just created an account and uh, when I come to this page uh, it gives me only one option to subscribe with my email address so I'm just gonna subscribe again so I'm subscribed because this is um, uh, an account that I have uh, I didn't have to confirm but uh, I'll also show you that uh, I've indeed been subscribed um, so I'm just gonna open Thunderbird for my 
So you can see that I've received a, a confirmation email. So those are the ways you can um, subscribe to the list. You can also visit the archives to see old messages that have been posted there. So you can see there's one announcement which has been made, Free Software Camp 2020 launched on Software Freedom Day. So moving back, there are some etiquettes that people suggest that should be followed on email list. Um, there are many opinions about how emails should be drafted, how a response to an email should be drafted, whether to quote someone, uh, how to quote someone, where to write your response, to type it in line, to type it uh, below someone else's email. Um, there are also points about uh, plain text email versus HTML email, uh, about wrapping your email at 80 characters or 92 characters or whatever. There are so many opinionated blog posts about these which you can search online, just search for mailing mailing list etiquettes or um, um, netiquettes and you will be able to find uh, so many opinions and you can make your own uh, uh, subjective opinions about how to behave in a mailing list. But I have a simple rule, it's just be nice to people. Uh, if it's a discussion list, uh, stay, stay on topic. Uh, don't get into personal attacks and things like that, but just uh, be helpful and be nice to people. So uh, with this, I think uh, I have given you a good overview of mailing lists, what it, what they are, why people use them and how to use them. Uh, I haven't shown you how to send an email to a mailing list, but uh, when you're subscribed to a mailing list, the emails will come into your inbox and so you will be able to read the email mailing list with what I've shown you. Um, maybe uh, with participation in the mailing list, you will become comfortable on how to send your own emails and what, what appropriate topics to pick up and things like that. And of course, in the free software camp 2020, we will be talking about all these things. I hope uh, I'll see you all at the camp. Thank you.